First off, I want to say congratulations on 300 subs. Dude, fucking awesome. And secondly, I want to say, I told you that's a fucking bear! So in your latest inappropriate question, you asked, um, what would we do if we were camping with our, in my case, my girlfriend, and we woke up in the morning and there was a freaking bear right outside our tent ready to eat us and shit. So we start running and girlfriend lagging behind. Do I A, go back and help her? B, run away, just get the rock out of there and who cares? Or C, I guess go sacrifice myself to the bear and... First off, what are we talking about here? I'm not sure if you mean bear that, as in, in the gay community, a bear is that large heron man. And if that's the case, that bear probably wouldn't care too much about my girlfriend. He'd be running at me so he can have sex with me. And I would, I guess, sacrifice myself. I mean, so there's really not much for me to do with that one. I mean, my girlfriend can just run free and I'll just have to get raped by a, a large man. But I assume you're not talking about that, because that would be kind of weird. So I'm going to go with a bear as in the animal. Here are my answers. I mean, I could leave her there. I don't have any guilt. You know, I have every single human characteristic. Flesh, blood, hair, skin. But not one single identifiable emotion, except for greed and disgust. Something horrible is happening inside of me, and I don't know why. My nightly bloodlust is overflowing into my day. Yeah, so guilt is not a problem for me. What I'd be worried about was, usually when you do shit like that, leave your girlfriend to get eaten by a bear, you get haunted. And the last thing I want is a freaking girlfriend ghost rummaging around trying to spook me out in my house. I don't want to be sitting there trying to put some mayonnaise on a slice of bread when, boom, there falls, there goes some dishes falling off the shelf because girlfriend, girlfriend ghost gets pissed off and wants to scare me. I just can't, li I can't live with that. So I couldn't leave her there. But I go back and help her, honestly, I'm not the best motivator. I'm actually a shitty motivator, and I just couldn't see myself helping her. I, if anything, I'd make it worse, and we both get eaten by the bear. I just can't motivate, and there'd be no way I could go back there, and if I lift her up by her shirt, her fucking shirt would come off, then the bear would see her boobs. And I don't want the bear seeing her fucking boobs, I'd have to fight the bear then. And that, we're running away from the bear, I don't have to stay back and fight the bear because he's checked out my girlfriend's boobs. So I, I would have to... Uh, guys, what I would have to do is I'd have to run back there and let the bear eat me. Yup. I don't think I'm a noble man. I'm not a noble man at all. The reason I would do this is because one of my sexual fantasies is to be eaten alive by a bear. You know, don't judge me. It's not weird. It's normal to have an active imagination. And I just think I would get off very well in a sexual way if a bear ate me alive. Especially uh, if he ate my penis. So... I shouldn't have said that. That's going to make me look weird. I know I'm going to look weird. Don't think I'm weird. I'm not weird. Oh, oh my God. I told you that's a fucking...